Now I'm sorry I got cut off on the last video, so let's talk a bit about the statics and the dynamics. There are three static sources. There are static charges, there are static permanent magnets, like bar magnets, and there are static currents. That means that the current is DC. The static charges produce electric fields, the static permanent magnets produce magnetic fields, and the static currents produce magnetic fields. But if any of these are moving or changing with time, so for instance, if the bar magnet is spinning, and we spin it around like this, that makes a magnetic field that is changing with time. So H is time dependent. Or if we take a current that is not DC, such as an AC current, that is going to make a magnetic field that is time dependent. And the really cool thing about time dependent magnetic fields is that they produce electric fields, and the electric fields that they produce are time dependent. And the really cool thing that happens when you have time dependent electric fields is that they produce time dependent magnetic fields. So a time varying electric field produces a time varying magnetic field which produces another time varying electric field and so on. Here is an example of when that becomes very very interesting. Let's take your cell phone and let's use the old kind of cell phone where the antenna sticks up like this. The current that we send up the electric field, as that we send up the antenna, produces a magnetic field that's going around it in a circle like this. So there's our magnetic field that's produced by the current. This current is sinusoidal and so it's time varying so that time, depend, time varying magnetic field produces a time varying electric field. The time varying electric field it produces is parallel to the antenna. So it creates a time varying electric field which then of course produces a time varying magnetic field which goes around in a circle which produces a time varying electric field which produces a time varying mag magnetic field and a time varying electric field and so on. This concept of dynamic fields, time varying electric and time varying magnetic, is why antennas and other communication devices work. It's why the fields no longer stay on the the piece of metal, that just little piece of metal that was your antenna. This is why electromagnetics is so different than electrostatics. It's when the electric and magnetic fields become coupled, we call them coupled, when they produce each other and it creates all of the unique effects that we're going to see in electromagnetics.